Welcome back to the All Seasons channel. Does this camper look familiar? It should. It's it's the one we put the water heater in in the last video. Um, we're also, the lady has a uh, pretty significant leak in her uh, drain in her uh, shower because the pipes actually broke completely off. Um, so uh, we're going to see if I got enough stuff to fix that drain with. And we're going to bring you along. So. Hang on, folks. Here we go. Oh, there's a there's a shower drain. How do I know it's broke? Well, because of that. <laughs> it's funny it's broke completely off. So uh, we're gonna tear in this thing and see if I got enough stuff with me to uh, to fix it. I hope I do. I think you can sort of see there if you don't fall over. Oh, take this take this trap loose first get it out of the way of course we get rained on of course I always love doing sewer jobs in the winter time you got your jacket on so whenever you get whenever you get anything nasty it runs not only down your arm but down your sleeves too just makes it double awesome Mercy. It almost feels like somebody glued that thing. Oh, I'd say they did. I'd say somebody glued that fitting on there. Man, seriously? Uh, oh, let's see. I can get a little better angle on it over here. Get it scooched over. Oh, no, just got to get the right angle on it. All right, I got that one fitting off. Now we need to change the fitting that's in the uh, in the shower. And boy, that that floor is absolutely in the wrong place, Cameron. They made the hole in the floor nowhere near in the center of that fitting, and then they built the shower around it. Um, man, 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 man. Um. Wilder. Hmm. Well, it is a uh, it is just OSB. I might be able to break it out. Uh, Breaking out today. The hole in the floor where the fitting drops out of the bottom of the shower. The hole they made in the floor is nowhere in the right place. Let me show you here. See that fitting should be in the middle of that probably a four inch hole. Of course, they missed it. They put it right over against the edge. So I'm gonna have to try and get a little bit of that floor out of there, out of the way somehow, so I can get that fitting off. 
Man, I don't know how to do that camera. Can't use a saw or anything. The light might hit the bottom of the shower. Yeah, too tight. Too tight. Um, hmm. um, probably take a uh, probably take a wood chisel and a hammer. Maybe chip it out of there a little bit at a time. But we gotta have some room there somewhere. Uh, I got some, I got some good wood chisels. There, I'm gonna take a a wood chisel and a hammer, and try and make that hole a little bit larger. It's the safest way I know of to do it without hitting the bottom of that shower, making a mess. good thing about OSB board there's only one good thing about OSB board it's pretty easy to cut like that if you need to do it that's that's the only thing I know of it that's good about OSB board there ain't much See, can one run? Um, wait, wait a minute. I get the linoleum. They, they had it in the wrong place too. Yeah. Well, if you don't screw up that bad, at least be consistent about it. Okay, now I got the, the hole centered enough to where we can get the nut off that fitting on the bottom of that shower.
Hey Cameron, you're gonna have to go up inside and uh, hold that hold that shower drain fitting while I get the nut off. And when you do, uh, take drop drop this one down in there and just make sure it fits right. Take that, take that gasket with you too. Like I said, I just need you to hold, hold that shower fitting so I can finish getting the nut off up. Okay. Tell you what, Cameron, I'll I'll hold the nut and I'll let you just spin the fitting out. Probably just grab it up on top, can't you? There you go. Just keep it going. Up. Oh. Up. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I can't hold it. All right, go ahead. You gonna have to get a pair of pliers? Almost there. Almost there. All right, you got it. Yeah, just drop that new one down there and just make sure it fits. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, probably need to come up there with a, a putty knife or something, scrape a little putty off, right? Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, you got your knife? Just very gently scrape scrape around that, see if you can get it off. Okay, we got the old fitting out. Uh, we're gonna clean the uh, clean the shower base up and get ready to put the new fitting in. And we're looking good. We got the new got the new fitting dropped in. I'm gonna put the nut and everything on. Hey, Cameron, I'm gonna slide that thing over a little bit. Centered up. Okay, that should be good. Put her new put her gasket on. And the nut. All right, I'm gonna start tightening it up, Cam. Oh. Try a different approach here. All right, you need to try and keep her from spinning. Oh, I know it's my, it's me. I'm sorry. There we go. That's better. place try and get a pair of pliers. That should be good, Cameron. 
you take uh, take your knife yeah. and just trim any of that uh, plumber's tape that come out. Okay. Just trim it off, just like you'd see me do putty tape. All right. All right. We got the new fitting in, and I figure out how long. Uh, how long this tailpiece needs to be. I got a fitting, I got a new fitting to, we'll cut this off, cut the tail pot piece off. I just gotta try and figure out how long everything needs to be here. We'll go cut this off. That's our old trap. We'll reuse it, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll be back in a minute. All right, we got the uh, get you in frame here. There we go. Okay, we got the new fitting in. We got our our tailpiece dropout. I forget what it's called. Dropout, I believe, is what it's called. Got it cut. Make sure you put your gasket on top of it. Slide your uh, slide your nut up there. Put the gasket in, and it goes it goes on the uh, on that fitting. Should just be able to hand tighten it. It should be just fine. Oh, got our. Uh, Got that other piece cut off, got our fitting that uh, seals on the tailpiece, glued on. Like I said, we're reusing the trap, so it should go right back together. Go ahead, camera. Go run some water in there, please. If it's got a, if it, just pull the shower. If the shower head comes offside, just pull it down so it's not spraying out the door. All right. All right, camera's gonna go in and run some water and go make sure we ain't got no leaks. Here comes the water. There goes the water. Everything looks dry. Gotta be drier than it was. I mean, that thing was broke plumb off, so gotta be way better than it was. Okay, Cameron. It all looks good, bud. All right. All right. No leaks. Awesome. That's what we wanted. There you have it. That is uh, repairing your drain, shower drain on your RV. Uh, hopefully, yours won't be completely broken like that. But I've seen them, seen them cracked, uh, split. Uh, I don't know how that happens. Uh, I guess they freeze. So. I don't know. You would think the trap would be what would freeze and break, but you know, see it occasionally. But uh, that's how you fix it. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to say that twice. No, let's do that again. 
Uh, so there you have it. There is fixing your shower drain on your RV. Um, sink, sink drains would be the same thing, but uh, uh, if you find any value at all in my videos, would you please subscribe? Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching. We're going to go down the road and fix another one.